hope you are enjoying our devotions. While touring the Holy Land in 1865, Philip Brooks spent Christmas Eve in and around Bethlehem, looking out over the shepherd's fields, gazing at the town and attending a church service. What he saw there captured his imagination. It seemed as if I could hear voices I know well, he said, telling each other of the wonderful night of the Savior's birth. Three years later, he poured his impressions of that night into this song, A Little Town of Bethlehem. Brooks was awed by the magnitude of the wondrous gift that had been given. On the first Christmas, God presented mankind with a bundle of life, wrapped up in swaddling clothes in that crude stable in Bethlehem was his own son. As the carol puts it, his divine intention was to impart to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. Jesus' birth was just the start of that plan. The gift found in his ultimate fulfillment on a cross at Calvary some 33 years later. The death and resurrection of Christ made God's blessing, forgiveness, and eternal life with him available to all. And now I'd like to read for you from Romans chapter 4, verse 25. He was handed over to die because of our sins, and he was raised from the dead to make us right with God. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of highest privilege where we now stand, and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. 2 Corinthians 9.15 says, Thank God for his Son, a gift too wonderful for words. Now let us pray. We give thanks, Father, for your indescribable gift. How amazing is the love we compelled you to send your son that we might have life. We welcome you, Jesus. Show us our sin that we may be free from it and that your home, our hearts, may be pure and holy. O oh, come to us, aid in us, our Lord Emmanuel. Amen.